Hey folks, Malik is here from How to Skill Videos. In this tutorial, I will explain how to build a Kubernetes cluster for your home lab in some minutes. Let's start. Here I am going to use multipass application. Let's see what is multipass. In Mr. Google, just type what is multipass, and in the result you will see multipass is a lightweight virtual machine manager for Linux, Windows, and Mac operating system. It is designed for developer who want a fresh Ubuntu environment with a single command. In simple language, we can say it bring up a virtual machine on your Ubuntu like a container. For example, you want to test Nginx and need a server. So by multipass on your Ubuntu, you can bring up Ubuntu virtual machine and configure Nginx on it. And after you did your lab, you can remove it easily. Also, if you want to bring up a Kubernetes cluster, you need master and worker nodes. So with multipass on your local computer, Easily, you can bring up a master and a worker or multi worker nodes. Here, you will see how to use multipass to build a local Kubernetes cluster. How we can install multipass? Is it difficult or easy? Just in Google, type install multipass and in the result, Click on the first one. As you see, this is official website of Multipass. And you will see an instruction for installing on Linux, Windows, or Mac operating system. So here we are going to install on Windows operating system. So click on Windows and you see here install multipass on windows in first step download multipass so there is a note here you need windows 10 pro enterprise or education which version 1803 or later or any windows 10 with virtual box let's check my windows version just type winver in your Windows command prompt. Here, as you see, my Windows version is 22. So it's good. So let's download it by clicking here. As you see, I have already downloaded here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ensure your network is private. That's okay. Now, in next step, run the installer. Just next. I agree. Here, there is a selection to use Microsoft Hyper-V or Oracle VM VirtualBox. If you have installed VirtualBox, you can use the second one or as it is recommended using Microsoft Hyper-V. So let's use the recommendation one. Next, 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 install and just wait to be finished. Okay, it's done. Click on finish. Close this one. Okay, let's open terminal and verify if it works properly. This is my Windows PowerShell terminal. Just type multipass and enter so it works well let's type multipass version you see version 1.12.2 for windows has been installed let's 
clear the screen and back to documentation you see launch an instance by this command as it is written by default you get the current ubuntu lts it will bring up if you run this command it will bring up an ubuntu with latest version let's do it in terminal copy this one back to terminal paste it here let's change the name to another one for example host one and enter as you see here it will go and retrieve image from ubuntu repository it will take some second to be finished it's related to your internet bandwidth you see it is launched let's back to documentation and with run this command you will see the list of machines multipass list host one it's in running state so how we can to connect that just multipass exe the name of the virtual machine slash bin bash here you are you are connected to the host one if i type lsb underline release dash d it will show us which version has been installed you see ubuntu 2204 control d and back to windows terminal let's back to documentation also without connecting to ubuntu machine we can run the commands for example like this copy this one back to terminal and from here we can run the command just change it to host one you see without connecting to the machine we can get information from the host also with this command multipass stop multipass delete multipass purge we can stop delete and remove it from the host let's do it multipass stop host one multipass delete and also multipass purge pass list you see no instances found so until here we learn how to install multipass on windows machine let's see how we can bring up kubernetes cluster by multipass here is the document that i want to follow by it and bring up kubernetes cluster in introduction to lab you see we are going to bring up a control or master node and two workers node also we will bring up one host and through this host we can access kubernetes cluster and play with it so we need to bring up four machine also for requirement you see which computer you have to be in your hand to run this kubernetes properly so let's going a little down and installing the lab this section validating the lab orchestrator installation really we already did and we did bring up a ubuntu machine and then we stop and deleted let's going down i will share this document with you to be easy for you to follow that so let's going down here it's creating the lab environment here if you are on windows in powershell you can follow this step to get up and running by running this command it will bring up a machine with name control and also this version of ubuntu let's enter it seems i lost something okay need this one here enter it will go and download this version and then bring it up 
it's done. If I run multi-pass list, master node is up and ready to use. Let's quickly bring up workers node. As you see, it is for node one and the name node one. Let's enter here in this time. It will go more quick because don't need to get this image again. It is already exists on the host and only config node one. As you see here, this is an a script on github it's belong to this company and automatically config node one as a worker and you don't need doing anything the first worker node is ready and let's do it the same for second worker node second worker node also is ready let's bring up the bastion host and from this bastion host we can connect to kubernetes cluster let's enter and it will be ready in some seconds okay host one also provisioned let's connect to host one for connect to host one we can use multipass exec and the host one slash bin a slash bash in a state of using this one we can just remove everything type multipass shell host one it's easiest way here you are you are connecting to the host one let's clear the screen and just here type kubectl get notes you see kubectl has been installed automatically on host one and also cube config file already configured and easily you can connect to kubernetes cluster but you see one thing here a status a status not ready if you know the reason please stop the video here type your response in the comment section below and then continue okay as you see in document also it show us all the nodes are in not ready status let's fix this problem for fixing this problem as you know we have to install network plugin normally in kubernetes cluster we can using flannel or calico network plugin to take care of this issue normally if you are preparing yourself for cka exam normally one of the question will be like this here is a short document for calico installation copy this one from document and back to terminal and paste it here and enter okay it's done let's validating the operator in installation kubectl get pods dash n in this namespace yes let's check with document this one is running in continue let's installing calico and copy this command and paste in terminal and enter you see in installation created you see here in the command that i did run we using this cider block you can also before running this command you can change and select every cider block for your kubernetes cluster let's run kubectl get pods dash a you see calico pods are in running status let's clean the screen and run cube ctl get nodes after installing calico and network plugin placed in cluster the status of nodes are in ready status now your local cluster is ready for practicing with all the Kubernetes command.